Poisonous plants are always big on the list and that's again because we do see exposures. And then one bit of advice that I have, particularly around plants, and actually when anytime you think that your dog's been exposed to a poison, one of the very first things you should do is to, to collect whatever it is that you think that they've gotten into as well as the original packaging. Active ingredients are extraordinarily important to your veterinarian when treating a, a poisoned animal, as well as the concentration of the product in there. And all of that can be found on the label. But when it's things that don't come in a box in a label, you still need to collect them and you need to have them positively identified. Plants are a great example of that. A few years ago, I was consulted on a case of a dog getting into sago palms. Sago palms grow here in Southern California and they're very, very toxic to dogs. Usually the dogs, unless they get really acute critical care right away, they don't often survive the exposure. And so I was consulted on a case, classic sago palm exposure in a dog, it presented vomiting, and we were treating it very, very aggressively. And over the next two to three days, the dog was doing really well and it wasn't consistent with sago palm. Talked to the clients, talked to the referring veterinarian multiple times, are you sure that this was a sago palm? Everybody was like absolutely positively sure. I asked them to go home and take some pictures of the plant and send them in, and lo and behold, it wasn't a sago palm. And so you really do need to know the names of the plants that are in your yard and the house plants that are in your house. And it's better to know those things before you have an exposure, before you go into the veterinarian. But let's say you, you happen to not know, the best thing you can do is take your, have, you take your dog to the veterinarian for emergency care, but have somebody else in the household, a neighbor, a friend, come and take pictures of the plant, take clippings of the plant. Don't bring them to the vet because veterinarians may not be able to identify them, but take them to a plant nursery. Take them to somebody who actually knows plants. Have it positively identified. Call the veterinarian, let them know we have positive identification. This is the plant the dog got into. And then treatment can be much more tailored around what the dog was actually exposed to. Very, very frequently people are wrong when they self-identify or they think uh, they know what the name of a plant is, or they may have uh, use a common name for the plant that um, ha is used for many different kinds of plants, and so it can lead people astray.